Hi everyone, welcome to Zoologist Network. Today, just like we talked about the animals of the past, we're going to talk about the animals of the present. What do you mean the animals of the present? The animals of the, you guys know and love now, that are around right now. But what, but to be more specific, we're going to, the next two episodes, 96 and 97 later this week, we'll be talking about there's two different kinds of animals, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone, i.e. mammals, birds, reptiles, and fish. Those are the only four, those are the only four animals that have a backbone, which is what we're going to talk about today. Let's talk about mammals. We're mammals. We make milk. Simple as that. There are three types of mammals. Placental, marsupials, and monotremes. To learn more about mon the first one the first mammals we're gonna talk about are monotremes. Take a look. Monotremes are mammals that lay eggs. Every Pokemon fan loves Psyduck. In the anime. But Psyduck is not a duck. He is really supposed to be based off a of platypus. What is a platypus you ask? This is actually a platypus. Adorable, huh? As you can see, it has the bill of a duck, the tail of a beaver, webbed feet, fur, and the venom of a snake. They have got a sixth sense called electroception, which just like sharks... They can sense food without hearing, seeing, or smelling its prey in the water. The, all the senses are in that beak, as you can see right there. This is another monotreme, and it is called an echidna. I'm sure you haven't seen an echidna, so I came prepared with this clip from Sonic the Hedgehog. Knuckles is an echidna, and echidnas also lay eggs. This is what an echidna looks like. As you can see, it's got quills like a porcupine, a tongue like an anteater, and a snout. Echidnas have the lowest body temperature of any mammal, which is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. They can live up to 50 years in captivity, but in the wild, it reaches up to 16. Like the other monotreme, they're also electroreceptive. Echidnas also form mating trains, starting with the female, and start, and then two males walk walk bu walk up after it. Right now, as you can see, echidnas use their tongue, like anteaters, to get their food. Now, now this is also an example of how it uses its survival skills to. Adapt. It's called, which is called an adaptation. The next type of animal we're going to talk about is a marsupial, which means it has a pouch, just like a kangaroo or a koala. Remember, this clip is from Life of Mammals, which is owned by BBC. Now, this is a baby kangaroo, which is also called a joey. When it is first developed, it is deaf and blind, but it relies on the sense of smell. To find its way to its pouch, where it will stay for a few weeks, and it'll suck on the mother's nipple. And it will stay there until it is ready to come out of the pouch. Which means it's basically developing in the pouch, which is something different that mammals do. So right there, the baby has just been, you know... We're not going to go too far into that. This is a wombat, which is also called a marsupial. This marsupial is actually a burrower, which means it lives underground. So, so to keep dirt from getting it into the baby's mouth, the pouch will face backwards. But it will develop the same way as a kangaroo's would, 
and a koala's wood. Speaking of koalas, koalas are also marsupials. Again, they are marsupials, not bears. Again, that is marsupials, not bears. The third, here's another type of mammals. Placental mammals, like tigers, whales, humans even. We're placental mammals, which means we give birth we all know how they give, give birth. When a man and a woman love each other very much, all right, blank screen. I guess we can move on. And I, I won't tell you the word. But this guy will. Yep, he's right. The bird is actually the word. The bird is actually the word. Anyway, yeah, so birds are also vertebrates. Main characteristics of birds. We're not going to go through all the types like we did with the mammals because there's so many. Penguins. Ducks. Even that Archaeopteryx, mm. that was a, that's an animal in the past, mm. but we're in present, stay in present time. Mm. So they have feathers. Every birds have every bird has a feather. They have wings, and they have a beak. Every bird has a different kind of beak. Now the largest bird ever ever created is an ostrich. So I guess that's what you could say Big Bird was based off of. The biggest bird. Yeah, the biggest bird. Anyway, there, there are some birds that unfortunately cannot fly because their feathers are too small. And that is a, fam a few families. Families called the, the ratites, which are your ostrich, the emu, the kiwi, and the cassowary. And the penguins. But penguins can swim. Penguins can actually swim instead of fly. Some feathers are actually used as to keep warm. They're used to keep cold. And they and beaks are used to like crack open or or how you would use a fork, like with different bird raptors, not the raptors from Jurassic World, but the raptors like eagles, owls, hawks, falcons. Also, fun fact, there's an actual bird called a kite. We will now talk about reptiles. Now there are five kinds of reptiles. You know, before we talk about those, Reptiles are basically scaly animals that everybody loves. That my, that people won't let people keep as pets. Well, okay. There are four base there are four kinds, but if you want to get more specific, there are five. The, so the first one is the crocodiles, the crocodilians, which is your cro alligators and crocodiles. Remember, they are so different. Alligators have a round snout. Crocodiles have a point snout. Use your imagination. I've already said it before. We have the squamatas, which are the lizards and the snakes. And, bas and basically, we just talked about three, and now we're going to talk about a fourth one, which are chelonians, which are also which means reptiles without teeth. Turtles don't have teeth. Tortoises don't have teeth. I've said the difference before. Remember, the difference is turtles are smaller and live in water. Tortoises are way bigger and are bigger. Take my uncle, for example. Use your imagination. And the Tuatras. They come from New Zealand. If you want to see what a Tuatra looks like, take a look. This is a Tuatra. Just like lizards, Tuatras can regrow its tail. Males can fan out 
to attract fem a female just like in in this upcoming picture. In, in this, this picture, picture, the male spines are up. That's to attract a female. They shed their skin once a year, and when their eggs get cold, development gets stopped until it gets warmer. Amphibians are basically animals that are cold-blooded and have a double life. That's hence the name amphibios. Frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders have this life. They start their life in the water as tadpoles and grow up to be frogs. We will now be talking about fish. Now, fish are also invertebrates, and there are three different kinds, but with two different bone structures. One is made out of bones, like clownfish, and they're, and they're also fish that are made out of cartilage, the same stuff as your ears and, your, and this part of your nose, like sharks and rays. Those, and those are your jawed cartilaginous fish. And your jawless cartilaginous fish is your lamprey. This is a lamprey. This is a lamprey. Lampreys are cartilaginous fish without any jaws. They are like mosquitoes in the water. And what I mean by that is that they will latch onto their prey and suck their blood. If you've ever seen a, a fish latch on a shark, that's what that is. You guys know what to do. It's, it says it on the screen. Passion is a gateway to success. And remember to follow your dreams. See you next time.